morning um not quite so cold it's gone a bit wet outside so not inside so that's a bonus um so what i'm just starting to do now is to tidy up the pipe work that i put in the other day um that is a pipe to the bath and quite simple drill a hole push that in and it clips them into place so i'm just gonna tidy up how they work their way around the room here um, and then I've got some other pipe work slightly larger diameter that I'm going to take from over there down through to the cellar and, and that'll be the main feed up to both these bathrooms and the bathroom upstairs um, so yeah just gonna get more pipes in place today Whee! Drilled a hole through the ground floor into the cellar and try and get the pipe down to here. Let's see. Yeah, there it is. Ah. 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 Yeah. Mm. A bit wedged in there. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? No, no good. I'm going to have to make a bigger hole through the floor. And to allow the curve to get the pipe round. Yeah. All right, back downstairs to find out where that's gone. The big red pipe, yay! Hey. Well, that was the red pipe. I'll uh, go up two stories now and push the blue one down. Yay! And here we have a red pipe and a blue pipe uh, coming into the cellar, which I'm going to need to fix along the wall there. Have some kind of joint here to go up through to where the kitchen's going to be. And then they're going to head off in that direction to connect to the hot tank and to the this pipe here, which is the cold water. Just been working through what the fixings are that I have. And I think I need to go and buy a couple more to get this job going forward. Five minutes later. All right, well, I'm back from the Brico. Bought a few essential bits and pieces. Um... So I think now I can carry on and get this shower tray um, waste all connected up. So I'm going to have to go out doing that this afternoon. That is everything in position? Now connected to Claire's oh. iPhone. Take two without Claire's iPhone. Right, um, so I have now connected up the pipes and um, everything seems to be just where it needs to be. Um, all going in a downhill direction. Well, it will be when I adjust that. Um, not been glued yet. So that is the next job. Right, so that is the pipes all now glued together underneath the floor here. That's going to go towards the partition wall where the basin waste are going to go through. That one's obviously connected to the shower waste up there. 
uh, yeah, making progress. Um, it's getting to that time of day again. Merlot and Flora. They need a walk, so. Good excuse for me to down tools for the night and uh, crack on with it all tomorrow. First job this morning, I am going to test the pipe work that I put in yesterday, the showerways down there with the pipe work that comes through the floor to this contraption here and then to the outside world. I'm going to just check there are no leaks because uh, it would be a shame to find one by coming through the ceiling downstairs. Um, so the way I'm going to do that, because it's all sort of hidden now, I've still got this opening open. Um, and I've got this, my umbilical camera. Um, so basically I can shove that little fella up there within the floorboards, connect it to my phone, Bluetoothy type stuff, pour water down the, uh, the, the shower waste, which is in the middle of that board over there, and just check there are no leaks. And assuming that's all good, I think I would then be in a position to screw down that bit of plywood, which is the base for the shower. Um, so the shower tray will sit on top of that. So anyway, first things first, let's get this all set up. Well, I didn't see any drips, um, didn't hear any drips, just could hear, hear the water just gurgling down to the outside world. So I'm <sighs> quite confident that that waste is watertight, so mm, get, that, uh, get that board screwed down then I guess. <laughs> I just ran out of screws or did I no I didn't because and I want to hear and now publicly thank my brother Owen his wife Ellen my sister-in-law uh, my nephew Alex and niece Neve for part of my Christmas present thank you very much for the screws you've just get, saved me a Brico trip thank you That ain't going nowhere. Um, gonna leave it for now. Got lots of other things to do. So on my last Brico trip, I bought some uh, cable within trunking, which is what I want to go from here to upstairs uh, to connect in for a heated towel out and a socket over here. So I just need to feed that. I've got it through the floor to there. I need to just get it up, along, and then through a hole up in the ceiling there. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing now. And 
in case any of you wonder, you are right. Yes, it would have been easier if I'd done this before I fitted that shower tray base there, because then I'd have had nice, easy access to pull it through. Mm. But I didn't, so set myself a challenge here. <sighs> one of the cables up um, so I'm gonna go upstairs make sure I have enough of it up there um, and label it so upstairs right. oh, that's plenty yes. back down and get the other one up here through the hole in the ceiling. Um, I'm gonna go up there now, label that, cut this to length, label it down this end, and that's that little job done. So now I've um, finished threading wires and things through that wall, um, I'm insulating it. They are finished running cables through the wall, all with the exception of the hot and cold water pipes for the shower. Um, so that's why I've left a, a void here um, for the shower pipes to, to go into. So I think that's what I'm going to do next. Get them in. in for that shower um, so that I've still got to do the pipes to the supply pipes to the two toilets there and there um, two basins and then that shower so I'm not finished yet I am finished for today though got to that time of day <laughs> one of my personal favourite Brico shops, Mr. Bricolage. Uh, we're here for insulation. That looks like the stuff. The stuff. Our next Brico shop, we're a bit worried that we're not actually going to get to it. Um, there's lots of protests going on in this area this week to do with farmers. Um, I haven't been able to film it, but on the way here, the the roundabout that we would go kind of straight on at to go to the next Brico shop, it was blocked by what looked like several tons of horse shit. I really like when French people protest. They don't mess around. There's no, there's no dilly dallying. It's just straight in. It's you know, go big or go home. I will try and see if I can get this on film. Just got to say, what a lovely, lovely piece of organisation that is right there. Things go with other things. Wow. Oh wow, look at that. 
I don't know whether you can this this poo blocking the whole motorway. This poo blocking the motorway. Amazing. <laughs> Even with all of the poo on the roads, we actually made it, pardon me, to Bricko Shop number two. And we are here to pick up plasterboard. I hate picking up plasterboard. This one didn't meet quality control standards. Didn't break it. What's this? It's plasterboard with a layer of polished iron in, which gives it a bit of insulation. Guess where we are? In the Bricko shop. Guess what? Two toilets. Guess what? Hopefully I'm not fitting them because we'll be coming back for two more toilets. <laughs> the sales are on. As you can see, he's getting distracted easily by the no, sale not. products. I'm not. I'm trying to make my way through. I'll leave that to you. Have we not got enough of them? <laughs> we've got loads of these. We've got like we've got one of these in every different size, and you just want no, more. Just want, they break. They, they wear out. We've got them. <laughs> Don't like it. Well, there we go. Good morning, um, shop. Had a bit of a tidy up today. Um, and I've just lifted up on my own two sheets of plasterboard and I'm going to stick them onto the wall. But before I do that, I want to get rid of just the remainder of the wallpaper because I want it to stick to the wall, not to a wallpaper, which may become unstuck. Um, so therefore, I have got the wallpaper stripper. And whilst that's warming up, let me show you. Look, I've got the windows open because it's a sunny afternoon. rid of wallpaper don't worry about up there doing something different there but yeah the rest of the walls are now clear of wallpaper um so i will be able to stick dot and dab i think this plasterboard up there once i've had a sweep up Well, today I'm going to be doing something new I've never done before, and that is to dot and dab plasterboard panels onto that wall. So basically I'm going to make up a, an adhesive mortar mix, uh, some powder in a packet, add water, mix it up, make some gluey type stuff that I will stick to the wall and then stick the plasterboard panels to. And there I hope they will stay. Um, it's not quite as straightforward as you might have hoped, if you were me. Um, the wall has a, a bit of a bit of shape to it. It kind of kind of bows out a bit in the middle, so I'm going to have to make it ultra thin in the middle and a bit more top and bottom. How hard can it be? I've watched a few YouTube videos on it, so uh, now I've got several different methods that people tell me that I should be doing. So I'm gonna have a go. Right, well I've mixed up the, the mix. Um, take it upstairs. Uh, the instructions say to leave it for five minutes. So I'll do that and then get it on the wall. So 
seems to have worked. Um, it's flat, it's straight. He's not falling off. But now, they're all up there. They all seem to be relatively flat. Level, straight, square. Um, I've even managed to cut off a little bit from there to stick up there just to finish off the wall. I don't have any more mix, so I just wanted to get that done. Um, I'm going to go and clean the tools and come back and keep my fingers crossed in the meantime that they're still there when I get back. All right, let's go and see. I've impressed myself. Right, well, I'm just threading some pipe work through. Um, it's all going to originate in there and come off down through the floor and along and got a red and a blue hot and cold for the shower that will be in that on the street. So I need to do the same with um, a couple of blue and a couple of red pipes for the basins. It's all going to come up through the floor down here. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm up to. Right, that's uh, all the pipe work for the basins, which goes under the floor here and we'll go off towards there so i just need to put in two more pipes one for the toilet in this room and one for the toilet in this room right well that is all the pipe work now going from where it needs to get to back to the uh, cupboard over there where i'm going to have a manifold um uh, basically I'm going to be plumbing in this jobby um, well here we have seven different outlets um, so I've got seven different things shower shower toilet toilet basin basin the bath um, now that that means is if I ever have a problem with one of the showers for example I can just turn that one shower off hot and cold and I can work on the shower without having to turn off water to the rest of the room or both rooms. So rather than having lots of connectors everywhere and tea pieces and things, each thing has got an individual pipe back to the manifold. Yes, there's a lot of pipes. Luckily, I've labelled them so I know what they are. The floorboards down up until there I've not done that bit yet um obviously got the pipes coming through for the basins pipes going through for the showers that's why i've cut the hole in the metal work so i'm building the wall along there that track's going along the bottom of the wall and the holes are to allow the pipes through so uh, yeah, i think i'm about ready to get that bit of metal on the floor <laughs> with what I've done today made a lot of progress time ticking on so uh, that's it for now start again tomorrow <laughs>
welcome to Wine of the Week. And this week we have <laughs> a wine called Bear Barbara. Or Bear. Bear Barbara. Bear Barbara. Nothing to do with my mother in law. No. Also called Barbara. No. It is an Italian wine, and Barbara is the grape variety or varietal. And obviously they're selling it as just just that varietal of wine. It was one euro twenty five a bottle <laughs> from B and M. It's gonna be special, isn't it? It comes in a plastic bottle with a plastic screw top lid. Let's air this. <laughs> Now, anyway, it's been an interesting week. Um, the French farmers are protesting. You may have seen in the news. So there were piles of horse muck, tyres, and general things. But you know, we may still manage to make it to Brico. So we'll always manage to make it to Brico, <laughs> won't we? One way we, or another. <laughs> and the other bit of news is the uh, Christmas lights finally came down. Yay! So uh, well. Can't wait till next year, although this year. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, if you have enjoyed this week's episode, please give it a thumbs up, click the like button, and if you've not already done so, please consider subscribing. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. X. Or, or on our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. You can. <sighs> I've got to say, it doesn't. It's not. It's not repulsing me yet. <laughs> <laughs> here goes. Wish me luck. Cheers. We could have a little gem here. <laughs> Just so you know what it said on the back. Three pounds. <laughs> anyway. It's better than that local wine we had. It is, and it's cheaper. Bargain. Bargain. Run to B and M. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.